Tony Scott has got to be one of UCD's uh, greatest teachers. He, he himself is a distinguished physicist, but I think what's really notable about Tony is the, uh, the quality of his lecturing, the impact he's had on generations of students, including myself. Teaching is it's not just a process of learning or, or instilling knowledge, it's enthusiast, getting people enthusiastic about the subject. And I always thought, when I, particularly when I taught the first year classes, and you'd be doing a slightly complex thing, if you interacted with the students f visually, you could see whether they could understand it. And if you could see doubts on them that they couldn't understand it, then you, you approach the problem in a different way. So it was really a, almost a performance, each lecture was almost a performance, where you were helping them to understand and enjoy what you, what you knew. I can think of very few people who have had a bigger impact on the life of UCD, on the communication of science, which is what I'm basically involved in, and on the youth of the nation than John Anthony Scott. Because of him, thousands of school students, and I think probably their parents and uncles and aunts and everyone else, will know exactly where they will be next January as they troop into the RDS for the 49th annual Young Scientist Exhibition. Just as 10, 000, tens of thousands more have done so over the past five decades of the event. By the way, did I mention that Tony co-founded the Young Scientist Exhibition with Father Tom Burke? It's been going for 48 years now. It'll be the, it'll be the um, 48th year um, this year, uh, or sorry, 49th year this year coming and heading into our 50th year. So you need to make sure that everything that you do is sustainable um, so that you can keep, keep it at that level. And you know what, it's a formula and it's a format that really has worked. And so it's very different from when it started, but we never do a big um, revolution. And I think it's a, just such a great format. Why would you, why would you um, fix something that isn't broken? There's not a UCD science graduate, an engineering graduate, a medical graduate that you meet who doesn't comment and remember on the lucidity and the clarity and the inspirational tone of, of Tony's teachings. The only thing I, I think that I did with my research student uh, which people may not know was developed the smoke alarm and at the moment I think of our model that we designed I think about 83, 84 million have been made. I remember when we launched the minister asked me what was this based on and I said it's based on about 50 years of research that was done in the physics department. The knowledge that I had you know from my predecessors had, I was able to tap into the knowledge that had been generated smoke alarm was that it took 50 years to develop it but we did it in five, year, five weeks.